Hey, this is Mike Bloom from the Studio for Teaching and Learning Innovation. Um, I want to talk a little bit about uh, creating a WordPress site using pages.wm.edu. Uh, WordPress is a really involved piece of software, so I'm only going to touch on the surface of how to create the site, but there are lots of things that you can do as far as creating themes and posts and pages. Um, but we're going to just do the basics right now, really short, really easy. So first thing I'm going to want to do um, is go to my web browser and type in pages.wm.edu. And once I'm here, um, I can hit create a new site. So I'll hit create a new site and it's going to ask me to log in and I'll click first log in to create a new site. And here's where I'm going to put in my username and password and click log in. It's going to take me to my dual authentication and oh, it looks like I've, I don't have to dual authenticate this time. So that's nice. And now all I need to do is, you'll notice this is all the sites that I actually have created for myself. Um, but I want to get a new domain, so I will um, call this Mike Bloom Sample. And that's all I need to put in, because it's going to be .pages.wm.edu after that. So I don't have to add any of that. All I need to do is choose the um, subdomain name. And I can give it a title, so I'll say Mike's Great Blog. And that's it. And I'll hit create. Site is created. It's going to let me know when the site is ready. And um, if that name has already been used, then you'll have to choose a new name. Um, I'm going to go ahead and log in as MX Bloom to use my existing and use my existing password. And it's going to take me to the welcome page. And this is the dashboard. Now, the dashboard is not your actual page. And I'll hit dismiss over here because I don't need to see this. So I'm going to go to the top right and hit dismiss. Um, and now here is the dashboard. And you'll notice on the side menu, on the left menu, I've got all of these options here. Um, I've got posts. I've got media. I've got pages. Those are the two mo three most important things probably that you're going to be working with. Um, posts are more like blog entries. Media, you can upload any kind of media, images, video, all that kind of stuff. Um, pages are going to be more static content. Um, so like your home page or your about page, something like that. And then you'll notice appearance, you can change the theme. So if you want to choose a new theme, you can choose a new theme. Um, and there are lots of other things that you can browse through, but those are the most important things right now. We're just going to use the basic theme to get started. And now, once you're logged in, you'll notice at the top of the site, you're going to have this black bar at the top. And the first thing is going to say My Sites, and it's going to show you all the sites that you may, be, um, ha you may have access to. Uh, the second link is going to be to your blog that you're in right now. And you can toggle back and forth between the dashboard and the page itself by just clicking on that um, link. So if I go to Mike's Great Blog at the top, I can click and it'll take me to that page. Um, I can toggle back and forth. So now here's my dashboard again. Here's my site again. And now I can edit my site. So I'll go up to Edit Site and I'll just click on Edit Site. And this is going to edit my main page. And this is probably what you'll want to do to get everything started. And you can actually change the name of the blog. You can um, go ahead and add whatever content you want here to, the, to that main page. Um, but let's go ahead and uh, take a look at adding content. So if I wanted to, to change like the, the site title, and I believe that the site title here is actually going to be an aggregate um, of all of your, I mean this, this main page rather, is going to be an aggregate of all of your blog um, entries. So you'll notice that the first blog entry that comes with your WordPress um, page is going to be called Hello World. Um, and you'll see the, this mind blown, a blog about philosophy, you'll just have to change that to your own um, thing. Uh, but let me go ahead and go back to my dashboard and I'll click on the WordPress button here and I'll go back to my dashboard. And now you'll notice in posts, I've got that hello world post and I can either delete it or I can edit it or I can add a new post. So let me add a new post. So I'm going to go to add new post and it's going to show me all of this. It's a block editor now. So if you've used WordPress in the past, this is going to be maybe different for you, but now they use a block editor. And I'm just going to close this dialog box.
you can read through this and you can go to next and see what the block editor is all about. But I'm going to close this. And now you'll notice that here's the title of my first blog post. So I'll say first post. Right? And now I can add a block. And you'll notice there's a little plus here. And I'll click on the plus and I've got lots of options. I can add columns, so if I wanted multiple columns I could choose that. Um, I could add a group of things, um, but mainly what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a paragraph. So I'm going to choose paragraph. And here's where I can just start typing in my paragraph. And I'm going to grab some text that I found. I'm not going to have to type in some text. I'm going to just paste some, uh, some text that I have got. So. Uh, let me just grab some text. I'm going to go to my favorite website, Lorem Ipsum. It's a text generator. And I'm going to scroll down and I'm just going to grab some Latin text here. And this will obviously be whatever you want to put in. And now I'm going to just paste that in there. And here it is. I've got my, I've got my post already. And I can go ahead and preview that, I can save it as a draft, or I can publish it. Let me publish it, and I'll hit publish, and that's it. Now it'll show me my post address, I can view the post if I want, um, or I can just go ahead and look at the whole site. So let's just look at the whole site. I'm going to go back um, to my dashboard, and I'm going to click on Mike's great, great blog, and now you'll notice I have that hello world and I have that first post and it's now going to be in columns and as I add posts it's going to change um, the way that this looks. So let me add a new post and I'll say new, I'll go up to new and I'll say post and I'll create a new post. And I'll say second post. And again I will maybe add a picture this time and instead of um, choosing, when I click on the plus, instead of choosing a paragraph, I'm going to choose maybe an image gallery. So let me choose an image gallery. So I'm going to upload a bunch of images here. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. I'll add a bunch of images and I'll say open. And now it's going to upload all of those to the gallery. Oh, the file exceeds the maximum upload site for this site. So it wasn't able to upload those, but I have a few. Um, there are a couple that it allowed me to upload, which is fine. I'm going to go ahead and choose to upload something else. I'll upload a picture of myself. I'll say open. Um, I'll click here. I'll upload another file. Select files. Um, let me add this little Matryoshka doll. Right. And now I've got all of that stuff and I'm just going to select that. And I can just keep going. I can add as many images as I want. I'll go ahead and upload a new image. Let's find something. So here's an image and I'll say open and it's going to post all of those images. Um, I've got some options on the right hand side here. Uh, you can play around with all of those, but you know, it's, you just play around with it. Um, let's say I wanted to add some text underneath this. I could say plus and I can add a new content text block and I can put in a new paragraph and there's some more text and I'll say publish and publish. All right and now if I go back to my view, viewing my page I'll click on that WordPress logo on the left hand side here. Um, I will go back to my great blog and now you'll notice I've got my second post, I've got my first post, I've got my hello world, and these are placeholders for uh, going to the actual post. And if I click on that second post, you'll notice here's my second post with all of my text. Um, and I can edit the post right in here. And you'll notice I have edit post. It'll bring me to that edit um, window. So if I click on edit post, it'll just bring me right back to it. And let's say I didn't like the images at the top. Um, I could go ahead and change that. I could move the, the content block up. You'll notice how I just I hovered over it. I clicked on it and I get this window here and I can move it up and down however I want to do it. And I can hit update and I'm all done. Uh, there are lots of tutorials online but this is how you get started uh, with the William and Mary pages.wm.edu. 
Um, and you should be able to put together a quick blog very easily using uh, this tutorial.